Happy Sunday morning, everyone. Um, Mike and I are out here in the garden. I'm about to get to work. She's busy over there working on a card for my mother for Grandparents' Day. We're out here and I don't know if I can catch them on screen. There are little yellow butterflies everywhere. Let me see if I can get any of them. Oh, and there's a bigger yellow one as well. Where did it go? There it is. Oh. It's in this. Whoops. Sorry about that. Send this back out and see if I can get it. Oh, and then there's this little bitty. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, right there. The colors on that, it was more grays and purples when the wings are open. But isn't it beautiful? There's butterflies everywhere out here. I've got a lot of work to do. I've already been pulling wild amaranth this morning. I'll pause this for a second. Sorry about that. I had gotten some stickers in my shoes. But the butterflies are just beautiful this morning. And you remember when I'd been saying that I was concerned because I'd not been seeing a lot of bees. Let's see. You see, this is where I've been cleaning up some amaranth. And I had something I wanted to show you from that. But the bees I've discovered are not going to be exceedingly happy with me because they are still loving the amaranth. Let's see if I can get that little guy on here. Oh, where'd he go? But what I wanted to show you that I discovered as I was pulling out amaranth was, let me see, most of, and maybe I can get you the bees while I'm pulling this out, most of the amaranth that I've been pulling, you know, the stalks are like this size, the roots are like this, most of it's been like that. I could probably dry more of this, but the goats like it too. But there are a couple of these that I pulled out. Let me see if I can look how huge that stalk is. And that root. Okay, let me see. There's my arm and my hand. And <laughs> there's all the root on that one. And this other big one that I've been pulling out. Okay, so so you can see the difference. There's one of the smaller ones. And there is this monster amaranth that I pulled out. And that root, this one, the root went sideways. Okay, the bees are not going to be happy with me because they're still all over the amaranth. But look at that. So it's pulling up lots of nutrients from down in the ground. But I need this bed. I've got a good soaker hose on this bed. Maybe they won't be too mad at me. I just rolled it over. They can have that for a bit. Oops. I'm not sure how that's going to do on video. There we go. Got your right side up again. Doing video while I have the camera in my hand and I'm doing things is not always the best idea. Pull a little bit more amaranth from here and some grass. And I'm not quite sure what this is that was growing underneath the amaranth. I'm not sure if that's more amaranth 
or if that's something else altogether. The leaves look different. And I had planted a few things in here, but the amaranth kind of took over. And so I'm not sure if I still have other things trying to grow or not. I do know, let me see, that is amaranth. I do know that over in all of this amaranth, it's just going up and up, that's at least seven foot tall. The Indian runner beans that I planted have been using the amaranth as a trellis. So some the bees will be happy because some of this amaranth is not going anywhere. Because I'm trying to get these beans to do something. So I'm going to work around the beans and use the amaranth as a trellis. So I've got to work on that. But I don't think there are any beans on this particular amaranth. Let's see if I can stand back up again. That one, that one goes up at least seven feet. And look, I do not have small hands. I wear a large in medical gloves. And that's how big that is. It's okay, girls. It's okay. There were some dumpster divers across the street. And the girls are not happy. But they're leaving now. Um, this is where I planted some flax. I just... I don't know, that's actually a mint. What did I plant over here? I had planted some flax seed in here, but that is a mint. And flax is not a mint. Did I plant some holy basil here? I may have. I may have put some holy basil seeds there. I don't know. But it's beautiful. And it was growing under all that amaranth. Now this is from Micah's hollyhocks. They grew underneath the amaranth. They enjoyed the protection. What do we have here? Oh, that's a basil. So I've got a base, some basil there that I planted. I've still got to clean this bed out some more. And then I've got a pocket full of seeds I'm going to put out. Let's see the amaranth bean here and overgrown like it was actually protected this little iris from the sun. The hollyhocks loved it. They were beautiful. But now they're spent. That basil coming up. Now that I've got this, uh, the amaranth out of here. Then those little basils. And I think that was probably a holy basil right there. I didn't remember planting holy basil in here. I love how I surprise myself. I've not been really good about mapping out what I have planted where. There's some more amaranth. Let me set those to the side for Micah and me to eat with our lunch. Get a few of them that are still looking a little better. And we'll take those in. But that one's turned. This one is turned to yellow. So I'll get that out of here. <sighs> but I have a soaker hose in this bed. And I have a neighbor who keeps coming over. There's a, a homeless gentleman who stays on the property next to us. Oh, look there. This is why I leave the wildflowers for the bees and the butterflies. I've had this water going for a good bit now. Take those up here with my coffee cup. The homeless gentleman who stays next door sleeps in a, an abandoned car has been coming over 
Oops, wrong direction. There we go. I had given him permission to come over and get water. But a lot of times when he turns this one on to get himself some water from here, he also accidentally turns this one on, which waters that bed. So that's what I'm working on today. Plus, I think it's about time to harvest some more of the kusha squash. And we have some tomatoes that look like they're in need of harvesting. Finally, finally starting to get a good supply of red tomatoes from the Heat Masters. And about to start getting some from the Super Romas. And here it is, September. So it's been an interesting year. I've got to, let me see. I think I need to turn this sprinkler because one patch of the sweet potatoes is not getting enough water. What's what, sweetheart? What's next in Nanny's name? Oh, the letters in Nanny's name? N. I did the N. A. Now two, now two ends. Two ends. Mm-hmm. Two ends and then a Y. Two. Y. Yep. Nanny. A y, a, a y. Remember the two lines with the tail. Yes, ma'am. Okay, when I was watering the tomatoes. Huh? Oh, nice. Beautiful. You want me to come get it on camera? It's a monster. Let's see. And then mommy's got to get some work done, okay? Let's see the card. Happy Grandparents Day. Oh, is that Nanny with you? Nice. Okay. Micah and Nanny. Very nice. I love you. Is that a bear? Um, it's a dog. It's a dog? And look. My, my name again. Uh huh. And then a monster, and then some grass with suns. I love it. It's beautiful. Mama, you're sweating. Yes. I told you sweating's good for you. Oh. You might want to put that under your crayon so the wind doesn't blow it away. If the wind starts blowing. All right. So, we're going to work. Oh, yes. So, and finally, and there's some more butterflies. I love the beautiful butterflies. Where was that one? Right there. We have lots of butterflies today, Micah. Need to go through and work on the squash. I'll take some to mom. And then soon we'll go to my grandma's house. Yes, we're going to go to Nanny's house in a minute. I need to clean up this spiral bed. We're going to my Nanny's house in a minute. And and after I get some work done, baby. I don't mean in like immediately in a minute. I mean in a, in a little while, okay? Let me get some work done. Well, look at all the tomatoes. You know what? Nanny would love some nice ripe tomatoes. You want to pick some for her? But I want to go. Okay, so I've got to go get some work done. So we can head to my mother's house. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful grandparents' day. Be well, my friends.